Hey guys, what's up? So I have a super cool video for you guys today. Um, I've been looking forward to doing this for a while. Um, I purchased this gun about two weeks ago. Um, we are going to be doing a torture test video. Um, this will be our first ever torture test video. Honestly, it's about the first time I could probably afford to uh, buy a gun just to uh, basically torture it. <laughs> um, so anyway, we've got the truly desired High Point 9mm. Sure you can hear all that clunking um this is the first high point pistol i've ever owned i've owned their uh uh carbines but i've never owned one of their pistols um i've seen matt from demolition ranch he did a torture test video to the high points but he did um, basically barrel obstruction videos we will not be doing barrel obstruction what i've got here i've got water mud sand basically we're just going to get this thing super dirty um and make it more of a real case scenario um, and just see how it actually functions. Um, give you guys a close up. It does have quite a few uh, flaws as far as um, where dirt could get in and possibly uh, damage it and cause it not to function anymore. So we're going to see what we can do. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have the magazine, magazine, magazine uh, fully loaded. It's got an eight round single stack. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one in the chamber where I'm doing all this, but I'm going to have it on safety. So we can't have no accidental go-offs or discharges. Um, but what I'll do too is uh, we'll test the safety, make sure it actually functions. Um, that way we know we're not having any issues with that. But anyways, let's. Uh, I'm gonna get it loaded up and uh, we'll uh, we'll get to it. <clears throat> All right, guys. So. We've got the high point loaded up. I've got a full eight round stack in there. Now it hasn't been fired yet, it's brand new. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put two or three rounds through it just to make sure it actually is cycling properly. Um, and then from there, we're gonna start doing the torture. Um, we'll probably start with the water, uh, then we'll go to the sand, and then from there we'll go to the mud. Um, and then maybe we'll scruff around the leaves a little bit. Um, but let's see how it uh, holds up before we get too far ahead of ourselves. Um, let's, uh, we're going to test the safety real quick. And then um, we'll shoot two or three rounds through it. And then we'll start with the torture test. Alright, so we're going to caulk it real quick. Alright, we got one in the chamber. We're going to test out the safety. Alright, I got it on safety now. See if it functions. All right, we got a function in safety. Now we're going to put um, two or three rounds through it, and then we're going to start doing the torture test. We're on fire. Here we go. All right, so it's properly functioned. Cycled all the rounds. No hang-ups. So first off, we're going to dip it in some water. See if it functions. I've got it on safety. All right, here we go. All right, properly functions with the water test. We're gonna move over to the sand. I'm gonna get it as dirty as I can. So that's pretty dirty. That might be a good thumbnail. <laughs> All right, so make sure nothing in the barrel. Okay, nothing major barrel obstruction wise. Let's see if we can put two rounds through it as is. All right, so we did have to put it back on safety. Um, I did have to ram it forward a little bit did not close all the way but it was a very minor malfunction here all right so we still got a few rounds let's uh let's keep it going i'm not even gonna put it in the water we're gonna go straight to the mud with it all right so many rounds we got in the mag all right we got two rounds left got her on safety there is one in the chamber 
Let's get some mud in there. Obviously, I've got the barrel consistently trying to face away from me. Okay. Now, if that doesn't tell you reliability, I don't know what does. <laughs> All right, so we've got this thing completely covered in mud. I'm gonna do one more quick coat just to be sure we've got it good. Let's see here. All right. Now, that should really tell us if we've got something fairly reliable or if we've got a piece of junk. Make sure it's on safety still. All right. I'm not looking down the barrel, I'm just glancing on the edges. Uh, making sure we don't have any major barrel obstruction. I don't want it to blow up in my hands. All right, we got it on fire. Here we go. Ooh. Might have had a striking issue. Or bad round. All right, that was a bad shell. So round two. Locked back like it's supposed to. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna reload the mag, wash it off so I can put a clean mag in there, and then we'll uh, we'll put it back in the mud, try to cycle the whole mag through it. All right, so you can see, got a full mag, eight rounds, empty chamber right now. Got it washed off here. Actually cleaned up pretty good, didn't take long. Um, so we're gonna put it back in the mud. We might actually, yeah, put it back on safety. Um, let's get it in the mud, and then maybe throw some some dry sand on it as well. Let's get the sand bucket back over. Here. All right, so let's get some mud on it. Keep the muzzle away from me here. Yeah, get it nice and dirty, all in there. Now let's go over. Get some sand in there. Right, let's try to get a thumbnail here. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. So, as you can see, we've got this thing very disgusting now <clears throat> what is the point of this test so the point of this test is these things are obviously really cheap people do buy them for self-defense um, I don't use it for self-defense um, but uh, <laughs> there's a lot of people out there that this is all they can really afford for self-defense um, so we're torture testing it we're putting it through the environment just to see um, how well it actually functions um, and seeing if it's a decent piece of equipment for the money. Obviously, it's big, heavy, clunky, ugly, and uh, low uh, magazine capacity. But overall, we're going to see if it's actually a fairly reliable gun. I'm going to do the squat on this one. All right, we're putting it on fire. Ooh, I don't know if fire is going to work. Got a little mud. There we go. All right, we may get it to fire. Ooh, might have a fail here. All right, we're having a fail with our, might be the safety jammed up. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, got the gun in here. Let's see if we can get this thing functioning. Empty. Find our magazine. We'll 
see if it fires. All right, we did get it to fire. So I'm not sure, I think the, the safety was hung up and it wasn't actually all the way down. So about right there, that could have been what our issue was. I think that was a fire safety malfunction. But uh, let's uh, rock another round, see if we can do the same thing, get it to go off again. All right, I think we got our hiccup taken care of. So we're back to clean. This time, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave it on fire, but we're gonna try to be very careful not to mess with the trigger. <laughs> but obviously, we're gonna point it away from us, so if there is some sort of malfunction, nothing crazy happens. This is not very safe, so don't try this at home. Um, here we go. All right, I've got one in the chamber. All right, you know what? Um, we're gonna put it, we're gonna go ahead and put it on safety. So hopefully we just don't have a safety malfunction again. Here we go, it's on safety. <laughs> All right. All right, got some mud on it. Let's get some sand. Okay, now, as you can see, We've got a pretty dirty gun right here, all the way around. Let's see if we can get the. All right, it's on fire for sure. Here we go. little malfunction here I think we've got her jammed up a little bit so uh, let's get it cleaned up see if we can't fix it Should fire. All right. So um, let's uh, get it cleaned up and come to a conclusion. All right, guys. So we just got through doing our little torture test on the high point. This is the C9. Yeah, C9. Um, so we just got through doing our little torture test. All I did was sand mud and stuff. I didn't throw it on the ground or drag it around and bust the plastics. Um, obviously, I know the uh, there is the max capabilities of this gun. The whole point of this video really was just to see if this was a decent functioning firearm with, uh, you know, getting some dirt on it. Um, so what we put it through probably never really going to go through that much on any firearm um, as far as um, getting that much mud on it unless you're just crawling through a shit ton of mud uh, if you're doing that kind of stuff you probably shouldn't have one of these but as far as um, <clears throat> everyday carrying it um, if this is what you can afford this is it's a decent gun um, I'm not saying uh, this is the gun I'm gonna start carrying or anything um, because there's just no way I'm watching a lizard over there um, <clears throat> anyway this thing overall it really did perform all right um, only a couple little hiccups that was with the safety um, I'm thinking we're going to do the same torture test on my Smith & Wesson uh, SD9 it's a nine millimeter also do the same torture test see how it functions now this one does have quite a few different places the mud can go um, but overall, I mean, it really did not do very bad. Um, pretty decent little firearm. 
and it functions how it should at the end of the day, even after getting dut, grut, and grime all in it. Um, dut. I say dut. <laughs> um, anyways, guys, let's uh, let you guys see this thing close up one more time here. See, it's got quite a few places for gaps. But overall, um, it did uh, did pretty well. I'm pretty impressed with it. And like I said, this isn't a, you know, this is not going to be my self-defense gun. Never would be. Um, but it is a functioning gun. All right, guys. So we just finished up doing our torture test video. Um, we didn't do nothing crazy. Obviously, I'm not going to shoot it. I'm not going to do a Matt Demolition Ranch torture test to it. Uh, because we've already seen that uh, I wanted to do something that I haven't seen much of um, I think that was a pretty good test putting it through dirt mud and water that's gonna be the typical environment um, if you were to doomsday carry this gun but as far as um, everyday use you're never gonna put it through that much um, now what this thing will be like a thousand downs ten thousand a thousand a thousand rounds ten thousand rounds down the road I don't know um, will I ever know maybe maybe not i don't really plan on shooting this gun i pretty much just bought this gun for you guys um if there's more torture ideas you have let me know in the comments below that doesn't involve destroying it i don't want to destroy it obviously it's still a functioning gun um and i like my collection to build up even if there's a couple of uh junky ones in there um but if as long as it don't involve actually breaking the thing um obviously you know if i weld the barrel shut or slam it on a rock as hard as i can yes it might break something and honestly i don't really want to do that i'm pretty aware um, of the limitations of this gun um now we will be doing probably a torture test on my smith and wesson sd9 i'm not going to do it on my glock because i've got the uh, glock 19x in the desert sand i really don't want to scratch it up i just bought it about a, two months ago um anywho so overall this is a decent functioning firearm um now if you can afford something better get something better um because this thing is it is ugly it is clunky it's heavy very top heavy in fact the bottom you don't even feel the bottom half of this gun it's so top heavy um as far as accuracy from 10 feet away it's pretty accurate <laughs> now uh, you're not gonna probably pull off a 75 yard shot very well with this and um, not unless you have a ton of experience um, shooting it uh, I don't think you'd hit very well with it uh, long long range at all um, but like I said overall for what you're getting what you're paying for it's not a bad gun um, it seemed to function all right during our test um, that's pretty much it guys the finish held up all right um, it's got a little I'm not sure what kind of finish you call that it's a uh, almost a matte finish with a light gloss to it some but the dirt didn't scratch it the barrel got a few scratches on it but that's about that about it at the end of the day it's still a functioning gun and it ran did pretty good um also since we got this we got this out of the way um let's um show you what the other video was All right, so we just um, wanted to show you guys something. All right, guys, so I wanted to show you something because you probably, if you watched High Point Torch Test video, you probably didn't see this video. I just want you to check it out real quick, and we'll uh, I don't want to take too much up of your time. So this is a gun that I bought at a pawn shop for fifty dollars. So we're going to be doing a challenge video. Basically, I'm challenging you guys. If you have to excuse the wind. I'm challenging you guys to get the um, cheapest pawn shop gun you can find um, and this will exclude the tax in the background basically just the price of the gun I purchased this one for $50 the rules is that the gun must function and fire properly that's pretty much it if it's missing pieces it doesn't matter as long as you can pull pull it back and it shoots uh, it doesn't matter if it's a shotgun rifle pistol whatever just a functioning gun it'll be a fun challenge it'll give you something 
something to brag about if anything um fifty dollars i'm gonna brag about this thing forever anyone i show it to i guarantee you i'm gonna brag about it too so <laughs> anyways guys hope you enjoyed the video be sure you like subscribe thanks guys